when the drug is in, uh, in the brain, it prevents the serotonin from being recycled, meaning it's going to deplete it eventually, while it's overstimulating the, the receiving nerve from this other serotonin nerve. You can see why I could use a, a diagram here. Right, but you're getting more serotonin when you take only the drug? In, you're getting more serotonin only on the synapse. Okay. But, then, but because serotonin gets uh, not 100%, but close to 100% recycling, it gets used over and over and over again. When you're on the Prozac or the Zoloft or the Pax or the Selex or the Luvox, you're not getting that recycling effect. So temporarily, you're getting more serotonin right. impulses on the receiving nerve. So you feel better for a while. Mm -hmm. But then because the serotonin gets def eventually deficient and it and it knocks off some of these the receptor sites. Again, this is more easy to understand with the diagram. Uh, you're altering the brain uh, at least long term, maybe permanently in some cases, but at least long term. So there are fewer receptor sites. You're getting depleted, running on empty on serotonin, which only comes from food, by the way. The only way to raise serotonin in the brain is to take a nu nutrient called tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan. It's only two ways to actually raise total brain serotonin. The, the SSRIs only uh, increase it in the synapse level and that's temporary with a lot of damage being done. So Let's talk a little mm -hmm. bit about antidepressants. Uh, I think you said 7% of people using SSRIs are, get a clinical benefit. I mean, 93% don't. How do antidepressants make neurotransmitter dysfunctions actually worse? Yeah, now this is a kind of interesting and little known fact is that the, way, the mechanism of action of the antidepressant drugs, and these are all the popular ones now called SSRIs in general, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, the way they work is that you're, you know, one brain cell squirts out a little bit of serotonin and that serotonin goes and it hits another brain cell right next to it. It fires that brain cell, it triggers that brain cell to fire an electrical current and that's basically how your brain works. So what the SSRI drugs do, like Prozac, Zoloft, well, you know, all those, is they prevent the recycling or reuptake of the serotonin back into the original cell that made it. So you make the serotonin, you release it from one cell outside, the medications block the ability of the body to pull that serotonin back in. So what ends up happening is the serotonin stays outside the cell for a lot longer, and it starts to hit that other cell that it's next to, over and over and over again. The reason why the body recycles or pulls serotonin back into the cell is because when serotonin is inside the cell, it's protected. When it's, outside, and when it's outside the cell, there are enzymes which break down the serotonin. So when you take these medications, over the short term, there's a boost because there's more serotonin outside the cell where it's biologically active. But because you've blocked this normal recycling process that protects the serotonin, that serotonin is actually broken down at a greater rate. Mm. So over time, we're just saying that they're designed for short-term use. That's how they work the best. And if you're on Prozac for 10, 15, 20 years, you're going to pretty much invariably end up at the end of that process with low serotonin. Hmm, hmm. So the actual usage of the medication doesn't really increase the amount of neurotransmitters. It just changes the location, right? Gets it exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you could somehow take a picture of your brain, the amount of serotonin in your brain before and after the drugs is the same. You're just shifting where the serotonin is. Mm -hmm. You related this to Abilify. Can you tell us what, how, how that works? Yeah, so you know, if you're on a serotonin-related drug, an SSRI, for long enough, and you've depleted your serotonin, there's not a whole lot of room to go. Now the levels are just low, and the drugs start to you know, stop working basically. So what's happening now, you can see this just by watching television, is there's you know, new classes of drugs they're coming out with. One of the popular ones that I see quite a bit now is called Abilify. And Abilify works on dopamine. So for people who have had a conventional antidepressant that's an SSRI and have completely depleted their dopamine, if they take Abilify, it's gonna perk them up a little bit and now they're gonna start to deplete their dopamine. Hmm. So again, five, 10 years from now, you know, the dopamine levels will also be very low. 